This is Jupiter Today for the 24th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 27 minutes, 42.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 56 minutes, 49.4 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth today, is 164.211 degrees, and that's 1.139 degrees greater than what it was yesterday, moving towards opposition. Phase angle continues to get smaller and smaller, that's the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter. Today it's 2.879 degrees, and that's 0.202 degrees greater than what it was, or less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 654,335,454 kilometers, and that's 644,036 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 26,834.83 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,896.71 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 797,049,047 kilometers. And that's 46,990 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And Jupiter appears to be moving away from the Sun at a velocity of 1,957.92 kilometers per hour. And that's 2.29 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 91.57, CM2, 211.57, and CM3, 116.44. An exciting day on Jupiter. Early in the day today, we have three moons that are going to be transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. If you're in the Western Hemisphere, you'll definitely be able to see this, as long as there aren't any clouds. So at zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in Quadrant 2, heading west, as well as Europa and Callisto. Ganymede starts the day in Quadrant 1, heading east, and by six hours UTC, EO is transiting Jupiter. Europa is moving into transiting Jupiter, as well as Callisto. And by 12 hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant 3, heading west. And Europa is also in quadrant 3, heading west the rest of the day. Ganymede has just reached its eastern elongation and will be in quadrant 2 heading west the rest of the day and Callisto is now in quadrant 3 heading west the rest of the day. By 18 hours UTC EO has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4 heading east and by 0 hours UTC tomorrow EO is still in quadrant 4 heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter pretty soon. And there are 12 Jupiter satellite events, all involving the three moons, EO, Europa, and Callisto. At 312, the shadow of Callisto ingresses. At 436 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. 4.56, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 6.20 UTC, Callisto begins its transit of Jupiter. 6.29, Europa's shadow ingresses. 
653, the shadow of EO egresses. 709 UTC, Europa begins its transit. 713, the transit of EO ends. At 801 UTC, the shadow of Callisto egresses. At 923, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 10.03 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 11.03 UTC, the transit of Callisto ends. So between 6.29 and 6.53 UTC, all three shadows are in transit across the face of Jupiter. And from 7.09 to 7.13, a very short four minute window, all three moons are transiting Jupiter. There will be three satellite mutual events today. First goes from 1703 to 1712 UTC when Europa eclipses EO. It's a 9.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.407 magnitudes. And EO is a nice hefty 110.21 arc seconds away from Jupiter, but Europa and EO are only 7.6 arc seconds apart. And as you can see on the visibility map of Earth, this point is where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. And as you can see, all of Asia, all of the Middle East, all of Europe, and most of Africa is going to be able to see this event. The second satellite mutual event today goes from 1739 to 1747 UTC and that's when Europa occults EO. This is a 7.6 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.284 magnitudes and it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, good for photometric measurements or some photography at 108.78 arc seconds and you can see the visibility from Earth here as well. Again it's most of Asia, a lot of Europe, a lot of Africa, maybe a tiny, tiny bit of Australia. And the third mutual event today goes from 1847 to 1901 UTC when Callisto eclipses EO. This is a 13.7 minute event and it's a very deep eclipse, 1.113 magnitude flux drop. And EO is 102.56 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Callisto and EO are 28.01 arc seconds apart. Again, a very good candidate for doing some photometric measurements of that eclipse. And you can see the visibility map here as well. All of Asia, maybe half of Africa, a lot of Europe, and a little bit of Australia. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter. We're going to witness this transit event from Jupiter's point of view as well. Nobody's there to see it from that end. Maybe someday.
The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First at 6.48 and the second at 1644 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. The time of this recording is 1.29 UTC on the 24th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Thanks for subscribing, those subscribers who are watching. Would enjoy hearing your comments and questions and suggestions. You can send those and any images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.